Hi and welcome to Tutor Cruncher. In this video, I'll be giving a general walkthrough of the different features that you'll find within your account and how to get started. So when your company account is first created, you're going to be logged into your demo branch. Now your demo branch just allows you to test different elements of the platform without it affecting your live branch and your live operations. If you want to swap to your, li your live branch, you can click this option in the top left to switch to live, and that will bring you to everything that's going to be your live functionality for the platform. For this sake, we're going to go back to the demo and we're going to try it a few different things and just show you the basics of Tutor Cruncher. So your dashboard just allows you as an admin to see different things or have an overview of your account and what's happening. You can fully customize this by choosing the toggle icon and then decide on what elements you want to showcase when you log into your dashboard. You can move some from right to left to have them included or move them from left to right if you don't want certain elements to show when you first log in. You can then just click save and then that will default your dashboard when you log in every time. Now on the left hand side, you have all of these different sections and these are the fundamentals for getting things started and navigating through the platform. If you want to create different user types, you can choose the people tab and then decide on each user that you want to create. For this sake, we're going to go to our clients. Now when you click on clients, you have these options at the top and we're going to just create a new client. You can fill in their pre-fill details here and then you click submit. And that's, you can do that any time that you want to create a new client profile, but it's the exact same for students and tutors, affiliates and admins. The clients, when you log in, you have a different type of view for clients, and this is called a client pipeline. This allows you to funnel the different stages for your client in the sales process. So depending on where they're at, you can move them from left to right, and then you can decide on the status of your clients as well. So when you click on a client profile, you can choose the actions tab, you can edit their profile and then you can decide on whether they're still a prospect or if they're alive and they're taking lessons with your company. The activity tab has a few different options in this as well. Jobs is basically a collection of lessons. So when you match a tutor to a student, you need to create a job to get things started. So similar to how you create a user profile, you choose the tab at the top for create new job. You pre-fill in those details and then you click save. So I, for this sake, already have a few jobs created. When I click on the job itself, this will be the basic overview that you'll have. When you want to add a student to the job, you can click the add icon next to students, choose the student's name from the drop down here, and then click save. Similar to tutors, you can choose that add icon on the right, choose from your list of tutors, and then click save. So this will add them to the main job page, but within a job, you need to add lessons. So you can have this tab on the right hand side for lessons. You can pre-fill those details and then decide to pull the students or tutors link to that job page as well. It would then be a matter of choosing record lesson or add lesson if it's in the future date. You also have a few different options within your activity. For instance, your calendar. This is an overview of all the lessons taking place and you can filter by those on the right hand side, whether it's your tutors, student or client. Um, tasks allow you to just create a notification at some point in the future to remind you to do something. But you can also have different sections here like reports, reviews, subscriptions, and ad hoc charges if you wish to use those for your account as well. Now, you also have a communications tab, which allows you to have an overview of different things for your emails. Um, but you can also create these things called lesson reminders as well. Once you create a reminder, this sends out a reminder before lessons to your users and sends them the details to their email link to the lesson as well. Accounting is quite an important one. So there's a few different sections within the accounting tab. We have credit requests, invoices, and payment orders. If you want to take credit before lessons happen, then you can draft credit requests. You can choose a regeneration date, and we check to see if any lessons are planned in the future, and you can request upfront credit from your clients based on those lesson dates. Um, then when you can want to draft invoices, it's the same process again. You can choose regenerate, but except this time we check to see if any lessons have been marked as complete, and then you can charge your client for those completed lessons. Payment orders deals with tutors to payment, and it's similar to when you're drafting credit requests and invoices. You choose a regeneration date for a date in the past, and then we check to see if a tutor is owed money for any completed lessons that they've done as well. If you want to make some adjustments to your system settings and you want to customize how things operate, then you can go to system settings and we have a bunch of sections here that you can choose from, whether it's dealing with your people and activity, it's your communication settings, or it's anything to do with your accounting as well. You have full control over your account and this is the point where you go if you want to customize some of those elements. If you want to have a general overview of how well things are going in your branch, then you can go to this analytics tab. 
We have a few different sections which cover different elements of your platform, but if you want to see generally how your revenue is doing or how much you've issued in invoices, then you can go to income over time. You can filter by activity date, which is based on when lessons take place, or you can filter by invoice dates, which is when you've issued invoices. It gives you a brief overview for a month basis if you decide to filter by that, but you also have these filter options for different timelines as well if you want to get a general overview. You also have a client spend, which allows you to see how much your client has spent during a certain period. And you can also see lesson hours as well on the left hand side, which allows you to see how much hours someone has received in tuition. So you can follow up with that as well.